Right, before we get into the video, a quick disclaimer. I bought these. Yeah, that caught you out, didn't it? Yeah, these were not sent to me because I ordered them yesterday and I needed them for today. And there's no shops around here where I live that actually sell this. Which you think, there must be a computer shop here somewhere. There's computer repair shops, but none actually sell things like screws for computers. So before I do the unboxing, by the way, I've already had a look. Another quick disclaimer, before I do the unboxing, let me explain to you why I bought these. And the reason for it is, that computer over there, it crashed on me the other day. And I took a few parts away, or took a few parts out, and realised quite early on actually, because Windows was trying to do a hard drive repair, realised there was a fault with the hard drive. So I took the hard drive out, it's an M.2 by the way, so I took that out, and I thought to myself, I've got a feeling it's just come loose because it's on this heatsink, this Corsa MP600 Gen 4 PCI cooler. And I had a feeling it's just come loose out of the actual socket it sits in. And I thought, well, I wonder if it's come loose. So what I've done, I took this apart. I took the M.2 out and I just pushed it in. And it's just sitting there at the moment, just sitting on there. And I thought, Let's try it. And it worked. Yeah, PC's up and running, no issues with it whatsoever, and I thought, that's what it is. So what I'm doing is, like I say, I'm putting the M.2 back on, but I can't find the tiny little screws. I've lost them. So this is why I bought this. Oh, and by the way, I should have mentioned earlier, if there's any part of this video you want to skip, I will stick chapters in the video description, in case you want to skip it. Sorry about that. Right, let's get the unboxing done, shall we? So, it doesn't actually show you everything actually on Amazon. It shows you the screws, and it shows you this keyring thing, which I'm going to go through in a second. But it didn't actually show you, get this with it, which I thought, that's really handy. Look, a pair of tweezers, tiny pair of tweezers. Yeah. Also, I'm going to show you me actually trying to uh, screw the motherboard down. Uh, motherboard? Screw the M.2 down onto the motherboard. Now this is a screwdriver, believe it or not. I thought, that's a bit weird, isn't it? So what you do, unscrew that, and you have a, a Phillips head on that one. Unscrew that side, and it's a flat head on that one. I thought, that's quite clever, actually. Yeah, Whether I use it or not is another thing. I probably will, actually. I might actually give it a little try. So your M.2s. Now... The other thing you might find difficult when thinking about buying M.2s is, well, what size? Well, hopefully this covers everything. I do have another package coming as well, just in case I've got the wrong ones. Keep this side up when open. Okay, so it's got to be open that way, not that way. Though you would have thought it'd be open that way, wouldn't you? But it does say that way, doesn't it? Keep this side up when open. Yeah? Okay. We'll have a look anyway. Let's go out of the bag. I can. Oh, would I need my little knife? Yes. Quick. It came in, I know it came in the box, but it came in like them little envelope things that you take out that says that way. No, no. Am I going to make a mess? Is it sealed? I don't know. I can't see no keep this side up when open. I can't see how you open it. It must just it must just pull open. Ah oh, there you go. Bit stiff, isn't it? Oh there you go, done it, done it. Right, loads of little screws. Oh good, there's some longer ones as well, which was what I was hoping for. Let's get me little tweezers out. And the reason I want the longer ones, because when you're using a heat sink, it's a little bit thicker, so you need to screw it to go in a little bit further. And I thought, I've got some M.2 screws, but they're quite short ones. So this, hopefully, hopefully should be perfect length, or maybe too long, I don't know. But there's a good selection in there, which is what I am looking for. 
and this works really well. That is perfect because the other thing that's really annoying, and I'm guessing other people have had this issue, is when you're screwing these things in, they're so tiny, they're difficult to hold. <laughs> and you can't have three pairs of hands and you can't get your hands in there. And this might be brilliant for, you know, just holding the screw, as long as I don't lose it, holding the screw while you're screwing it in with the other, the other hand with the screwdriver. Yeah. Sounds like a plan, doesn't it? Bound to go wrong, isn't it? So where did I get that one from? <laughs> Pick her up. Oh, that'll do. <laughs> so with that, I just wanted to show you. Nice little pack. Costs £8, £7.99. Just wanted to show you that. Link in the video description in case you want to go and check it out. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring that computer over here, lay it on my desk, and try and fit my M.2 back in properly and put me motherboard heatsink on top of it. Hopefully, fingers crossed, she works. Just as I was going to get my computer and put it on my desk and start work on it, I had a knock at the door. And my other package just turned up. So I'm going to do a quick unpacking because it's only in a packet. Whereas the other one was in a box sort of thing or container. So this one, like I said, is a little bit, it's a little bit different and it's a little bit cheaper. So it comes with a posi screwdriver or Phillips screwdriver, whatever you want to call it. It comes with some standoffs and some standard size screws for M.2. Yeah, nothing special there. Some longer ones, standoffs that is, and the screws are looking at that, the same size. No, they're really small, but the screws on this one are slightly longer. Not much longer, but slightly longer. I think I'll, I'll probably be using the other pack. And we have some washers with, with, I don't know what that is. I, I, I really don't. Let me know in the comments what you think this is. Because I looked at it online and I thought, well, what is it? And look, it's got a hole there, or something you can put inside. It's got a posi screw connection on the back, to screw that in. But what is it? Is it a holder of some sort? Does it hold the screws in? I wouldn't have thought so, but it might hold the standoffs in. I don't know, it's weird. But then you're still going to need two hands, because I'm sure, I'm sure it's just going to fall out, isn't it? Let's see, let's get one open. Let's have a quick look. Like I said, if there's any parts you want to skip, I will stick chapters in the video description too, and go to the next bit. Now that, see that goes in now. It's not going to stay in there though, is it? It's just going to fall out. Or is it, so you can just go like that and screw it in using that, you know, like that. I don't know. But it doesn't seem to me like it's going to stay in there, so I can't see the point of it. You can't squeeze it. It's too hard. Weird. Like I said, let me know in the comments if you know what that bit's for. It'd be interesting to find out. So uh, with that, let's get on with it, shall we? Right, so this is the heatsink I'm going to be using. It actually comes with the motherboard. So it's Republic of Gamers. It's already got thermal paste on it. And this is the hard drive or the M.2 that I'm going to be installing. So that goes in that way. So what I'm going to do is plonk that on now, like so. Line up that back hole. Because that should be roughly where it should be. See that? Or the other way is, I'll plug it in first and then screw it in. But I think it should work like that. And then all you do is connect it like that. Yeah, so I'm going to do it like that. So, so if my head gets in the way. Now, I've already got some screws out. Now, these here, these are too fat or too big. They won't fit in. But these on this side are just the right size so, and the right length. So I needed these ones here. Get one out, I've just lost one in there. Now see, they're just the right size for going in and being able to screw into the actual connections. 
So these are the babies I'm going to be using. And what I'm going to do is plonk them in like that because it'll be a lot easier. So, and turn them over just so I can quickly show you. See, they stick out quite a bit, but not too much. So I'm hoping they are, or hoping they will fit. If not, let's get the longer ones. So put that on now, like so. Make sure you slide it in first, your key. Might have to take that one out, actually, because I think that one's actually going to catch up. So plonk that in. Make sure the hard drive's plugged in, which it is. I'm going to screw up the back one first. Hopefully I've got it in the right place. Which I haven't. There you go. I think that's it there. Come on, Ben. That in? No, is it? Oh, it's not. Right, let me take that out again. So that didn't work. Right, that's in the right place. Put that in. Right, that's in. Line up first. Right, there, yeah, that's lined up. Drop that one in. Get the back one in first. Oh, it feels... It feels... So it's not going in. Oh, no, it's in. Right, I'm going to undo it a bit now. Line this one up. Hopefully, it should just go in there. Yes, do this one up a bit tighter now. That's it, she's in. Job done. Nice and tight. Got to be careful not to over tighten it, but it's nice and tight. Didn't need to use the tweezers, which was a good thing. Now then, I'm going to have to put it all back together. Oh, one other thing, before I put it back together, I'm putting in my new, my new 3070 graphics card, rather than my 1080p one. Putting in my 1080p. Rather than my, my old one. <laughs> Give me a second. Twelve seconds later. This one here, this is from Zotec. And, no, it wasn't sent to me. I did actually buy it. It's a bit dusty. Get a quick wipe. I've been sitting there for ages waiting for me to do a video on... I was going to do an install video, but... I just thought, well, why it's out, we can stick her in there now. So it has... It should have display ports. We need at least two. DP, oh no, that's HDMI. Actually, I might not be able to install it. Right, I'm going to have to sell that. Oh, hang on. I read that wrong. Display port, display port, display. Ah, it's just got a different connection on it. Okay, that threw me out. Oh, we're good, we're good. I'll keep quiet. Shut up, your key. <laughs> so, two display ports, I need two. And that is going in now. If I can see what I'm doing. Yes, just push that in. That is in. That should connect in now. Then we've got eight and eight. That should work fine. I'm going to plug them in right now. And then that is done. Again, it's a little bit fiddly because... I've got the computer at the wrong angle for putting this in. It'd be better if it's standing up. Oh yeah, and by the way, the pump doesn't leak. In case you're worrying about, New Yorkie, your pump's going to leak. No, it doesn't. I tried it before. I might have to stand it up as I've worked doing it like that. What I do then is I'll put the screws back in first. And then I will stand her up.
Right, will I need my stick? Oh no, it's bigger. Because it's fatter. Oh, hang on. Oh, I might be able to use it, we will see. Just gives it a bit of support. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stand her up and plug in my power because it's a little bit awkward. Oops. Right, hopefully it should just work now. Fingers crossed. New graphics card in. Hard drive's in. Let's see if she starts up. Oh, right. I need to set up so it's got both monitors running. It's only showing one at the moment. So, yeah, it's all working. No issues with it whatsoever. And, yeah, good. Oh, should put the door back on, shouldn't I? Voila, job done. Yeah, I've just got to set up the uh, dual monitors and pop your uncle. So with that, if you like any of this video or any of my other videos, consider subscribing. It doesn't cost you any money whatsoever and it does help the channel to keep on growing. So with that, thank you very much for watching.